So guys, I'm walking through Walmart and I always go past the remote section just to see if there's something that catches my eye. This did. It's about $30 and just a cheap little RC boat, you know? Uh, summer's coming, all those big ponds and all up north are about to thaw out. But this is what caught my attention. The prop is underneath the boat, so it doesn't cavitate when you take off. I have another old boat that's like that and it launches so good. So we're going to give this thing a shot. However, I'm not just going to take it out of the box and go put it in the water and say, woohoo, here you go, this is it. Oh no, we're going to take it apart. I want to see what's in this thing, just to maybe get some ideas. Well, take a look. Okay, let's open this thing up here because I'm, I am legit interested in how this thing is set up inside. Um, Pavati. Get out of there. Get, get, get. Scoot. We have a, well, it's a controller. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's... Um, hmm. All right, let's see what we've got here with the boat. Now, that prop out the bottom, that is what's got my interest. Now, I couldn't tell that this was so large. I thought it was skinnier than that. But anyway, we got to give this a try. It looks like you pretty much got to take it apart to get to the battery. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. It's also insanely cheap. But I guess we kind of knew that right okay so this is for adjusting your trim um i'm guessing the battery is in here that's where you charge it so yippers the battery is in there let's go ahead and see if we can got some kind of juice to turn this thing on Okay, we got power. Now this is your left and right. It is not proportional. I mean, $30, what can you really expect, right? Now, let's try your throttle. <laughs> it's actually a gear driven design so it got some reduction to it and and that makes a lot of sense i mean you don't really have a lot of wires here to power a whole lot and boats they are known for a really high amperage situations you know they just pull a lot so the gear down that sounds about right i do believe maybe Maybe it's got enough. That's a pretty big prop. Maybe it's got enough to actually get up on a plane. We'll just have to find out. But I do think I'm going to open this up and just take a look at what's in there. Okay, it appears, and I know it's a little bit blurry, that they put everything into place and then they epoxied the wires in place. So if I was to continue to peel that, I'd probably rip them off the board and I wouldn't even get a first drive in. And yeah. Voided all warranties right here, guys. So I'm gonna put that right back down because I can see what I need to see. It's just a cheap board and the average normal stuff. So okay, so I'm looking at this thing. You know, before we take it out and all that, I'm I'm looking at it. There's your steering rudder, right there. Pretty simple. Um, take all this junk out right here. Um, I could just simply glue a servo down right here. And just run a link or maybe even glue the servo underneath and just let the arm do the turn right there with like a stud on it simple easy this thing runs on a single lipo cell 1s you yeah, know i've got a 1060 over there um, i got a little uh 2000 milliamp 2s i've got a receiver um okay Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do it now. Not going to do it. We're going to go drive this thing just like it is. 
but this is going to get modified. Um, yeah, it's got to be. This is interesting here. You actually charge it using a JST plug right in here. And the way the on off switch works, it's actually, it completely disengages the battery. Completely disengages it. So, hmm, interesting, huh? We are all set with this wonderful little beast. There's our playground. <laughs> Uh, no. Turns good. It does not get up on plane. Turns great. Um. Yeah, I definitely gotta do some mods to this thing, don't I? <laughs> wow, look at the turn though. That's impressive. <laughs> Turning it actually stresses and takes some of the power out of the motor. This is definitely something to drive in a swimming pool. Speed wobble. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mod this thing. I'm gonna get this thing up on a plane for sure. Uh, in case you're wondering, you're driving like this. <laughs> as long as I just hold it and forward, I'm okay. Let's try some reverse. Yep. I gotta say, I had my hopes up that it would actually, come on baby, get on that button. I had my hopes up that it would actually get up on, on a plane, but, well guys, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely for a small pool, um, a kid. I guess. Well guys, it's perfect for a swimming pool. It really is. Um, turns really good. I mean, it zips, turns great, but for me, there needs to be a little bit more here. So, um, there's not a whole lot here to begin with. However, I do feel it's gonna get a 1060 ESC, obviously a different radio, and probably a glued-in servo for steering, and then 2S. Um, I want to see this thing get up on a plane. I won't be able to make it go too fast, too fast, because number one, I don't think the motor will take it, um, or the gears, but this right here, if you start going too fast, um, this right here could actually make the boat lift a little bit. So, but regardless, I think it's awesome for swimming pool. I think it would be phenomenal, actually, about the perfect speed. You guys can get out the swimming pool and, you know, make the waves go, and that little thing will probably get some air. I think that would be awesome. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I'll see if I can find this on Walmart because I also have a Walmart affiliate. Um, I'll, I'll look online, see what I can come up with as far as boats. If not, I'll find some small boats that are more hobby-grade, and I'll put them down below for you guys. So if you want a small, easy boat, Maybe one that auto writes. If you flip it over, it comes back over on its hull. That's a beautiful thing. Um, I'll try to find some of those and get those down there. So, guys, check that description for affiliate links. Amain, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.